Let's take another look at one of these favorable, favorable and non-favorable outcomes. Um, so we're going to do letters in letters A through Z in the alphabet. So our outcomes are A, B, C, D, E, so on. We have 26 of them. So letters A through Z are 26 letters. Okay, so those are our possible outcomes. So let's look at our, our specific situation. So we want to choose a letter that is A through K. So choosing a letter A through K. So let's count. We have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. So we have letters A through K, a total of 11 favorable outcomes. Okay, so we're not going to list them all just for the sake of um, time and also space on paper. There's no reason to write all that down. So letters A through K, we have 11 favorable outcomes, which would mean we have um, letters L through Z, which would give us um, 15 non-favorable outcomes. So we have 11 favorable outcomes and 15 non-favorable outcomes. So that would conclude, then we could go ahead and write our probability statement of 11 over 26, where we have 11 A through K over total outcomes, and we can write our probability statement like so.